The King James Bible, the first book of Samuel, chapter 6. And the ark of the Lord was in the country of the Philistines seven months. And the Philistines called for the priests and the diviners, saying, What shall we do to the ark of the Lord? Tell us wherewith we shall send it to his place. And they said, If ye send it away, the ark of the God of Israel, send it not empty, but in any wise return him a trespass offering. Then ye shall be healed, and it shall be known to you why his hand is not removed from you. Then said they, What shall be the trespass offering which we shall return to him? They answered, Five golden emeralds and five golden mice, according to the number of the lords of the Philistines. For one plague was on you all and on your lords. Wherefore ye shall make images of your emeralds and images of your mice that mar the land, and ye shall give glory unto the Lord God of Israel, sorry, unto the God of Israel. Peradventure he will lighten his hand off from off of you, and from off your gods, and from off your land. Wherefore then do ye harden your hearts, as the Egyptians and the Pharaoh hardened their hearts, when he was had wrought wonderfully among them, did they not let the people go, and they departed? Now therefore make a new cart, and, make, and take two milch kine, which, on which there hath come no yoke, and tie the kine to the cart, and bring the calves home from them. And take the ark of the Lord, and lay it upon the cart, and put the jewels of gold, which ye return for return him for a trespass offering in a coffer by the side thereof, and send it away that it may go, and see if it goeth up by the way of his own coast to Beth Shemesh, then he hath done us a great evil, but if not, then he shall know that it is not his hand that smote us, it was a chance that happened to us. And the men did so, and took two milch kine, and tied them to the cart, and shut up their calves at home. And they laid the ark of the Lord upon the cart in the coffer with the mice of gold and the images of their emeralds. And the kind took the straight way to the way of the Besh Shemesh, and went along the highway, lowing as they went, and turned not aside to the right hand or to the left. And the lords of the Philistines went after them unto the border of Beth Shemesh. And they of Beth Shemesh were reaping their wheat harvest in the valley, and they lifted up their eyes and saw the ark, and rejoiced to see it. And the cart came into the field of Joshua, a Beth Shemite, and stood there where there was a great stone. And they clave the wood of the cart, and offered the kind a burnt offering unto the Lord. And the Levites took down the ark of the Lord, and the coffer that was with it, wherein the jewels of the gold were, and put them on the great stone of the men of Beth Shemesh, offered burnt offerings and sacrificed sacrifices the same day unto the Lord. And when the five lords of the Philistines had seen it, they returned to Ekron the same day. And these are the golden emeralds which the Philistines returned up for a trespass offering unto the Lord, for Ashdod one, for Gaza one, for Ashkelon one, for Gath one, for Ekron one, and the golden mice according to the number of all the cities of the Philistines, according to the five lords, both of fenced cities and the country villages, even unto the great stone of Abel, whereon they set down the ark of the Lord, which stone remaineth unto this day in the field of Joshua, the Beth Shemite. And he smote the men, and he smote the men of Beth Shemesh, because they had looked into the ark of the Lord, even he smote of the people fifty thousand and threescore and ten men. And the people lamented, because the Lord had smitten many of the people with a great slaughter. And the men of Beth Shemesh said, who is able to stand before his this holy Lord go up? And the men of Beth Shemesh said, Who is able to stand before this holy Lord God? And to whom shall be, whom shall he go up from us? And they sent messengers to the inhabitants of Kirjath Jerem, saying, The Philistines have brought the ark of the Lord. Come ye down and fetch it up to you. Chapter 7 And the men of Kirjath Jerem came and brought up the ark of the Lord and brought it into the house of Abinadab in the hill and sanctified Eleazar the son to keep the ark of the Lord. And it came to pass while the ark abode in Kirjath Jerem that the time was long, for it was twenty years, and all the house of Israel lamented after the Lord. And Samuel spake unto the house of Israel, 
saying, If ye do return unto the Lord with all your hearts, then put away the strange gods and Asheroth from among you, and prepare your hearts unto the Lord, and serve him only, and he will deliver you out of the hand of the Philistines. Then the children of Israel did put away Balim and Ashtaroth, and serve the Lord only. And Samuel, and gather all Israel to Mizpah, and I will pray for you unto the Lord. And they gathered together to Mizpah, and drew water, and poured it out before the Lord, and fasted on that day, and said, There, we have sinned against the Lord. And Samuel judged the children of Israel in Mizpah. And when the Philistines heard that the children of Israel were gathered together to Mizpah, the lords of the Philistines went up against Israel. And when the children of Israel heard it, they were afraid of the Philistines. And the children of Israel said to Samuel, Cease not to cry unto the Lord our God for us, for we will save us out of the hand of the Philistines. Or, Oh, sorry. <clears throat> and Samuel took a suckling lamb and offered it for a burnt offering holy unto the Lord. And Samuel cried unto the Lord for Israel, and the Lord heard him. And as Samuel was offering a burnt offering, the Philistines drew near to battle against Israel. But the Lord thundered with a great thunder on that day upon the Philistines, and discomfited them, and they were smitten before Israel. And the men of Israel went out of Mizpah and pursued the Philistines and smote them until they came unto Beth Car. Then Samuel took a stone and set it between Mizpah and Shen, and called the name of it Eben Ezer, saying, Here to you hath the Lord helped us. So the Philistines were subdued, and they came no more into the coast of Israel. And the hand of the Lord was against the Philistine all the days of Samuel. And the cities which the Philistines had taken from Israel were restored to Israel, from Ekron even to Gath, and the coast thereof did Israel deliver out of the hands of the Philistines, and there was peace between Israel and the Amorites. And Samuel judged Israel all the days of his life, and he went from year to year in circuit to Bethel and Gilgal and Mizpah, and judged Israel in all those places. And in, in his return was to Ramah, but there was his house, for there was his house. And there he judged Israel, and there he built an altar unto the Lord. Chapter 8 <clears throat> And it came to pass when Samuel was old that he made his sons judges over Israel. Now the name of his firstborn was Joel, and the name of his second was Abia. They were judges in Beersheba. And the sons walked not in his ways, but turned aside after lucre, and took bribes and perverted judgment. Then all the elders of Israel gathered themselves together and came to Samuel unto Ramah, and said unto him, Behold, thou art old, and thy sons walk not in thy ways. Now make us a king to judge us like all the nations. But, this thing, but the thing displeased Samuel when they said, Give us a king to judge us. And Samuel prayed unto the Lord. And the Lord said unto Samuel, Hearken unto the voice of the people and all that they say unto thee. For they have not rejected thee, but they have rejected me, that I should not reign over them. According to all the works which they have done since the day that I have brought them up out of Egypt, even unto this day, wherewith they have forsaken me and served other gods, so do they also unto thee. Now therefore hearken unto their voice, howbeit yet protest solemnly unto them, and shew them the manner of the king that shall reign over them. And Samuel told them all the words of the Lord unto the people that asked of him a king. And he said, This will be the manner of the king that shall reign over you. He will take your sons and appoint them for himself, for his chariots, and to be his horsemen, and some shall run before his chariots. And he will appoint him captains over thousands, and captains over fifties, and will set up them to and will set them to ear his ground, and to reap his harvest, and to make his instruments of war and his instruments of his chariots. And he will take your daughters to be confectionaries, and to be cooks, and to be bakers. And he will take your fields and your vineyards and your olive yards, even the best of them, and give them to his servants. And he will take the tenth of your seed and of your vineyards and give to his officers and to his servants. And he will take your men servants and your maid servants and your goodliest young men and your asses and put them to his work. He will take the tenth of your sheep and he shall be your, his servants. And ye shall cry out in that day because of your king, which he shall have chosen you and the Lord will not hear you in that day. Nevertheless, the people refused to obey the voice of Samuel, and they said, Nay, 
but we'll have a king over us, that we may also be like all the nations, and that our king may also judge us, and go out before us and fight our battles. And Samuel heard all the words of the people, and he rehearsed them in the ears of the Lord. And the Lord said to Samuel, Hearken unto their voice, and make them a king. And Samuel said unto the men of Israel, Go ye every man unto his city.